It seems Meghan Markle's solo endeavours are becoming increasingly rare after Spotify's Bill Simmons called the Sussexes bloody frauds. The comment came shortly after Meghan and Prince Harry's Archetypes podcast was scrapped by Spotify after they produced just 12 episodes last year. A joint statement from Archwell and Spotify said at the time, Spotify and Archwell Audio have mutually agreed to part ways and are proud of the series we made together. Now, royal biographer Tom Bauer believes that the couple's joint ventures are falling apart and that Meghan is finding it difficult to sell her brand because she's so controversial. They're beginning to taste the medicine that they handed out after the Oprah interview, and they're finding it very, very hard to keep their brand reputable, Bauer told New Magazine. They're constantly having to defend themselves and grasping at opportunities that don't exist anymore. Bauer explained that Harry and Meghan's solo ventures might not be successful either, as it was revealed that Harry would begin working on a Netflix documentary in his second home, Africa, while Meghan was heavily linked to rumours of a collaboration with fashion brand Dior after signing to A-list talent agency WME. I don't believe Harry can do an interesting documentary in Africa. Harry has got huge problems and I don't think Meghan has a brand to sell because she's so controversial. She brings too much baggage to it all now. They're facing too many problems, Tom shared. Rumours had suggested Meghan was set to join the likes of Robert Pattinson and Emma Raducanu as a face for Dior, with some speculation saying she was set to net over $20 million for a three-year contract. But it appears as though the project is over before it even began, with a spokesman for Dior denying there had been any recent contact with Meghan, and no contract negotiations had been touted. Speaking to Women's Wear Daily, the insiders claimed reports of their link-up were unfounded and were certainly not on the table at present.